Today I was going to do the silly season, free agency, whatever you want to call it, video. I decided to push that back a little bit due to a couple announcements that have happened in the last couple days. Uh, I'm going to talk about that instead. Um, yeah, two very well-known drivers, two very likable drivers. Xfinity regular veteran um, Elliot Sadler has announced that this will be his last year of full-time racing. And Cup Series full-time racer Casey Kane has also announced that this will be his last full-time season. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that news kind of struck me. I really like these two. Uh, Sadler, he he's just a really cool guy, really really nice guy. Uh, he just seems like a guy you want to hang out with, you know. He's forty-three. Uh, his reason for retirement is his children uh the retirement statement stating uh it's time for me as a dad to help pursue help my kids pursue their dreams uh, and then he starts talking about his kids ta talks about his career uh but very successful career for him i'd say uh let's go through the stats here elliot sadler uh three cup wins in 438 starts eight poles so yeah, he had a pretty successful career, I'd say. Uh, he's ran, he ran for Richard Petty Motorsports, I remember that, back in the day. His engine flew out of his car once in 2010 at Pocono. Uh, yeah, that was a scary wreck. But um, yeah, Xfinity Series, he's been racing for Junior Motorsports. Um, he's got 13 wins in the Xfinity Series. He had three in 2016. Uh, yeah, 18 poles and 383 starts. <sighs> Elliot Tyler's just a really good guy. I like him. Like, if there's ever an Xfinity race I'm watching, he's up front, I want him to win. So, it's really going to be tough to see him go, but, you know, it's time for other guys to rise up. Um, glad he's doing it on his own terms, obviously. Uh, for his family, that's another big deal. Because, you know, this racing thing... People don't realize how much time it takes up of you being from away from your family and from home and all that stuff and how much traveling there is. I mean, it really takes away. So I'm really glad to see him uh, do this for his family and for his kids. That's really cool. Uh, now I'm going to talk about Casey Kane. Casey Kane. Um, yeah, this one. Yeah. I cried during one retirement announcement. That was Jeff Gordon, because I was a big Jeff Gordon fan. But yeah, this one this one got me close, man. I mean, everyone should like Casey Kane. He's a really nice dude. Really chill. He's really awesome. But um yeah, his retirement letter. The thing that hit me the hardest was the last sentence. It said thanks to everyone that believed in this kid from Enumclaw, Washington. Uh yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that should hit you somewhere right here. If it doesn't, then you must not be a Casey Kane. You must not like Casey Kane. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kane, pretty pretty good career. Looking at his numbers, he's succeeded. I'd say uh, he did not win a championship, but eighteen wins, twenty seven poles, and five hundred twenty seven career starts. Starting in 2004, he raced for Evernham, race at Ray Evernham, and then he moved on to Richard Petty Motorsports, and from there he went to Red Bull Racing, and then he went to Rick Hendrick, Hendrick Motorsports, raced there from 2012 to 2017, and this year, Levine Family Racing. I really hope he wins again. I really hope he gets one more win, because, you know, we saw last year when he won the Brickyard how excited he was that they won his team won that he was able to win and he's just like the guy if he were to win everyone would be happy for him um Kane obviously the card he's in it's going to be very difficult for him to win Talladega obviously he could win um you know if he could repeat Indy that'd be pretty cool but I just really want to see him get one more win that'd be really cool um the reason he is retiring is let's see here uh he just said he was really appreciative or happy, whatever you want. I don't know what the word is that Levine Family Racing was offering him an opportunity for 2019 and beyond. 
and he just kind of talked about uh, he was looking into the future and he's like racing the cup full time. It'd be, you know, I just didn't want to commit to that. Uh, he's not sure what his future holds with. And he said the highs didn't outweigh the lows. Uh, talked about the schedule, as I said earlier, how it just it takes up so much time. He has a son and he said he wanted to spend he wanted to spend more time with the son and that he also wanted to uh, focus on his sprint car teams because he owns some sprint car teams, I guess. Um, he said he's loved his career. Um, just loved everyone that's been around him. He's loved everyone. He's met all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. So Casey Kane retiring as well. Uh, Elliot Sadler, Casey Kane. So 2015, Jeff Gordon starts this trend of retirement. 2016, Tony Stewart joins in and Carl Edwards, surprisingly. Um, Dale Jr. decides to jump on that boat in 2017. This year, we got Casey Kane and Elliot Sadler, two other big names that I would say are retiring. Um, oh, how for, we could we forget in 2016, Brian Scott retired. What a legend. Man, he did so much with his young career. But uh, for real, uh, Casey Kane and Elliot Sadler wishing them the best of luck uh, post racing, full time racing, uh, life with their families and their. Uh, for Casey Kane, his race teams and, you know, spending time with their kids and their families. That's great that they get to go out like this, that they get to decide how they want to go out. Uh, that they would say, they're saying, hey, I'm done. I want to spend time with my families. That's really cool to see. And that these drivers get to go out on their own, as I said. But that's really awesome to see this kind of thing happen. Um, yeah, man. I mean, obviously, we're going to miss him. Uh, Casey Kane, Ellie Tyler, two great guys, two great in. Uh, everyone loves him in sports. So, yeah, it's going to be really hard to see him go, but it's good for them, and we're all happy for them moving on. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. Um, if you want to watch one of my old videos, click right here. Yeah, click there. If you want to see a playlist that I made once, right here. Yeah, I got a lot of playlists, but here's the NASCAR playlist. If you want to subscribe to me, click on my face. Yeah, thank you for watching.